everybody. Uh, welcome back to Reese A Reacts. So um, today we're going to be talking about the, the play of the Red Speedo. So this play was written by Lucas Nath and was first performed in 2013. And this play, believe it or not, actually won a Charles MacArthur Award for being an outstanding original new play. So the story is about a man named Ray who is a renowned swimmer. Ray has accomplished many great feats in swimming but runs into conflict when his swim coach finds out that he's been taking performance-enhancing drugs to get to where he is at. There are two other important characters in the play. Uh, Peter, who is Ray's lawyer and brother in all of this, and Lydia, who is the woman Ray who is in love with, but is also Ray's go-to person for obtaining his drugs. The theme of the play is centered around the relationships... <laughs> between money, morals, and ethics. The protagonist in this play is Ray, the successful swimmer. As far as basic structure goes, in the introduction, we are introduced to characters. Ray uh, and his brother Peter... <laughs> <laughs> attack, we find out that the coach has speculation that one of his swimmers has been using PEDs. And because we found in, um, oh, oh because he found some in the team fridge, and so so we, we are introduced to the major dramatic question of will Ray overcome his coach, coach and get to use his PEDs without getting caught so that he can qualify for the Olympics. Following the point of attack, there are three complications. The first being that Ray is lacking money to obtain PEDs. <laughs> once he convinces, once he convinces his brother Peter to loan him some money, Ray goes to his ex-girlfriend Lydia. Once he convinces his brother Peter to loan him some, oh, ah! <laughs> the third, um, and try and convince her to hook him up with the drugs like she used to always do. Oh, the third and final complication comes. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Comes when Coach has been and become upset about speculation that Ray would be leaving the team. Which is oh <laughs> bam! The third and final complication comes when Coach had become upset about speculation that Ray would be leaving his team. Ah, which would prohibit him from making making the team for the Olympics. The crisis comes <laughs> following the race. Oh, where Ray is both puking in a literal sense and puking out and spilling the truth to his coach that he had been cheating this entire time. The climax hits when Ray and his brother fight following the race and following Ray's confession and all the lies he had been telling his brother this whole journey. Oh, damn. By the time the fight is over, the brothers are both weak and bloody. In the following action, the brothers learn how stupid it was to be fighting over what they'd been fighting over. And the play ends with... A brief wrap to the conversation with Peter ah, apologizing for his actions. The Olympics are used as an overarching metaphor for success. Oh, okay. Um, swimming represents your way of life, and PED serve as an unethical way of achieving success. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we enjoyed this play because it had a unique story, and we thought the characters were easy to connect with. So uh, we would recommend this play to anyone who is interested in following a story involving swimmers or athletes coping with ethics and <laughs> internal conflicts involved with PEDs. That's our uh, final um, recap of the year. Thanks for watching!